Hey there, America. What are the two subjects we're not allowed to talk about in public? Politics and religion. So guess what we're talking about today on It Matters Monday? Politics and religion. Specifically, how a Christian can talk about politics to someone who is not a Christian and come out better at the end. I hope you join me. I've dressed all out just for you. Stick with me. It Matters Monday. All right, so I just have to be clear. I am talking today to Christians like me who like to talk politics with people who are Christians and who are not Christians. So first thing I've got to do, I've got to make sure and check myself that every single person I talk to, I realize is an image bearer. I know in Genesis 1, God said he created all people in his image. That means they have the thumbprint of God on them. And when I have that conversation with them, I have to be able to say, I see God in this person in this way. I see God's passion in this person. I see God's empathy in this person. I see God's creativity in this person. And I have to be able to see God in the person that I'm talking to. If I'm being a true Christian, and I really believe what the Bible has to say. I have to be able to see the image of God in that person. And it really helps me frame something better in my heart before having that conversation. So I need to be able to see that person as an image bearer of God. Number two, I have to try to win the person and not the point. Now, this is a hard one for me. I love to try to argue and get to the heart of an issue, but my job is not to win some argument. My job as a Christian is to really love other people. They should know we are Christians by our love. And if I lose that person, if I lose their respect, if I lose their trust, if I lose, if I give them hate, I lose that person. And that person is a soul that God cares deeply about. And if I want to call myself a Christian, a follower of God, I have to follow his example and really understand that that person is a person, can win the point all day long, but if I lose that person, I have lost. Your job is to win the person and not the point. Three, ask questions. Do you know that Jesus was asked 187 questions in the Bible and only three times did he respond with a direct answer? Usually he asks questions in return. And actually, when we look at all of the gospel, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, Jesus asked over 300 questions. He asked questions more than he was asked questions by others. If we're gonna be anything like Jesus, we need to start asking questions because questions help us understand what the person is actually saying and why they're saying it. If we're trying to talk politics, trying to talk a point, but we're coming at it from completely different perspectives and life experiences, we're never gonna get to that point. So we have to say, why do you believe that? What brought you to that conclusion? Hmm, tell me more, tell me more, tell me more, and find out more and find out what's going on in their heart. Last, this was a point that someone brought up to me and it's amazing. We need to realize where our hope lies. Our hope as a Christian, as a citizen of heaven, that means our hope does not lie in political systems made by people. Our hope does not lie in politics. They try to crown Jesus king and they expected Jesus to come and take over the political realm and he will one day, but they thought he was gonna come take over this political realm and part of their issue was that he didn't fit into that mold. He didn't see, Jesus didn't see politics as a way to save people. Now that doesn't mean that it's not worthy to try to fix our politics the best we can and our government the best we can and our policies the best that we can. No, it's a worthy, worthy cause. But it is not the cause. It is not our hope. And so whatever happens in elections, whatever happens in debates, whatever happens in any of this stuff, our hope does not lie in who is president or governor or state senate. Our hope does not lie in the laws of the land. Our hope lies in Jesus, lies in God. That's what we have to realize as a Christian. One, see the other person as the image bearer. Two, win the point and not the person. Three, ask questions. Four, remember where your hope is. I hope you learned something today. I know I did. We as Christians can talk politics without alienating others. Join me in this. And remember, if it matters to you, it matters to God.